Welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to really go into detail and study the topic of lines. Okay, uh, We've already talked about the basic concept of a line in the previous sections and that's just you know something that goes on and on in two directions. Okay, It goes in that direction, goes in that direction, forever and ever and then we call that a line. And uh, a line has one dimension because it can only can be constrained to move back and forth in one direction. So we say it has one dimension. Okay. Now in this section we're going to expand on that and we're going to dive into some of the core areas of geometry where we talk about uh, uh, when lines intersect each other. Okay, we're going to talk about what that means. We're going to talk about parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and we're going to start to introduce some of the drawings dealing with lines that you're going to see over and over and over in your books. Okay, so that when you look at them you won't be uh, taken aback, you won't be surprised. You'll see it here and you'll understand what to, what to uh, uh, what to do with that drawing, okay? So let's start off. Let's start off with a topic that I think most people probably um, understand. We say that that two lines intersect, okay? So what we're doing is we're introducing the concept of intersecting lines if they cross each other. If they cross. Okay, if they cross each other, it's sort of implied there. So it's it's a real simple concept, and I think that most everybody really knows what intersecting lines is. But if you don't, it's really simple. Here's a line. My arm is is just one line. It goes on and on forever in two directions. Here's another line over here. Okay, if they cross, meaning you know not like this where they don't touch each other, but if they actually cross where the the lines actually touch each other and they go through, they have this one intersection point here. We say that they intersect. Okay. So we're going to see that time and time again in geometry. So what we're going to do is just draw a little, just a little uh, example. Here's a line. Uh, this line goes through point C, and this line goes through point D. Okay, so this is, so this is some line, right? And uh, we, see we have another line that goes up like this. And this line goes through point A, and this line goes through point B. But you can see right away that this line CD and this line AB, they actually cross each other right here at this point, and we call that the intersection point. We say that these two lines intersect each other. Okay? So this point right here is the point of intersection. Okay? This is the point of intersection. And uh, if we were going to write this down, like for an answer to a test, we would say that line A, B, and we're just going to get a little practice writing, writing down line A, B, um, intersects uh, line C, D. So if you remember back to the previous section, the way you write a line is you put the, the two points that the line goes through and you put this double arrow over the top showing that it goes on and on both directions. So you see, this is a good example. You look at this drawing, and if you're not really familiar with what's going on, you've got these two lines, and you've got these three points, and you've got this thing here, and this arrow, and everything, and it looks confusing. But when you just break it down, it's super simple. You've got a line, and you've got another line, and all we're saying is that these two lines that we write down in this fashion, they intersect each other. It just means they cross each other. Okay. So keep that in mind, and we're going to move on to something else that's probably not uh, probably not familiar to most people watching right now, but uh, it's a core uh, it's a core section of geometry, and you're just going to see it over and over again. So what we're going to say is we're going to define another term. Here we defined intersection. Now we're going to define something else. We say a line 